Higgs boson is asking, what's your opinion on Yee's or Kanye West's um, insanity? Uh, I think Ben Shapiro might have suggested that he should be should self delete. Wow. I don't think he did that. Wow. Did he do that? I don't know. I did not see that. I also don't follow a lot of uh, Mr. Shapiro. So, so okay, <laughs> I think I, I I think one of the biggest things with with this, unfortunately, um, is this is what happens when somebody is put on a pedestal. Uh, when a human being is is you know touted to be this incredible you know brilliant genius almost godlike person in in the circle that he's able to uh to keep around them so i think that's you know he spent the last 20 to 30 years of his life with people around him that praised him like literally um so i think that's part of it for sure I think anybody in that situation will unfortunately succumb to some uh, pretty terrible things. But I don't think that's all of it, but I think that's a part of it. So, Okay, I, I'm going to say something that might mm -hmm. eventually in hindsight be like a terrible, terrible thing, right? But I welcome all of this, okay? I, 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 might, okay. Be, I might be wrong, okay? But I think this is, I think like, I need the right leaning people in United States to self destruct. Mm. Okay. And I think that the, there are two types of mm, Republican, I don't want to say Republican, because I understand that all of them are like this. Okay. But two types of Republican movements. Okay. Mm. Um, a fascist movement yeah. that, you know, hides its fascism yeah. and a fascist movement that doesn't hide its fascism. Okay. So, and I think that the fascist movement within the Republican Party that doesn't mm -hmm. acknowledge that it's a fascist movement is kind of terrified about this other side that is too transparent about what the Republican Party represents and they're like you guys are saying the quiet parts out loud and this is going to end us and i think i hope so i hope so i hope that there this you see fascism is very idiotic right like mm. they come and they destroy but they they're too stupid to be strategic right yeah. and that's why fascism usually like self-destructs yeah and i think like we're seeing the stupid the insanity within fascism like these people cannot keep their mouth shut for their own good, right? And what I'm hoping, which I could be very wrong, okay, this might actually take over, but I, I don't think so, right? I, feel, I think like more people coming out like this just scares the general public of, of more things right-leaning, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, you know, like if you look at like Republicanism, they they grow faster when they come across as I don't know, m mild and intellectual. And We're just standing up for freedom, Armin. Freedom and stuff like that. Yes, yes. Free speech and like anti-woke and mm -hmm. protecting family values, right? Mm. Yes, <laughs> right? And people are like, okay, okay, sure, sure. Some okay, But then they come out and say stuff that I can't even say that mm -hmm. he says, right? Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that's what they want. Oh, wow. That's what, they're about. That's what they want, right? Yeah um no i understand that thought process honestly yeah i yes. it's it's am i naive am i being naive so i i don't think you're being naive i just would say it personally worries me at least a little bit just knowing what has happened on the political uh kind of pendulum and axis over the last handful of years and i i also have that thought where it's like man you know i think i think what we're gonna see is is the right the right wing of the United States continue to divide itself and get those people that are more in, in this Kanye camp, right? And and a, a handful of other, you know, people that say terrible, horrible things uh, that I don't even care to list. But all of those people, I think, are pulling a section of the population with them. And yeah, I hope that what that ultimately means is those two individual camps are now small enough that they're unable to ever exert power again. I also, though, worry that they will go 
real far to the right, and then a bunch of people will just be like, you know, yeah, this isn't, you know, okay, we'll try it. We'll try it, you know, who knows, you know, <laughs> what yeah. could happen? But yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That, do, do they have enough pull power that could actually, I don't, I think that they- It's hard to know. I, yeah. My hope is that people are, the, the balance is more people go towards like, I don't want anything to do with this rather than them people being appealed. My, like I, you know, yeah. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm too optimistic, naively optimistic. The same way that I don't know Germany was before Adolf, yeah. people were like that's not gonna happen in Germany. So maybe I'm being yeah. naive like that. Maybe I'm like, yeah. oh, this is good. Let this, let these people talk. They like they're gonna turn everyone off. And uh, maybe I'm being naive. I mean, like, oh shit. Like maybe like in 50 years I'm gonna be like, look, like, look stupid. Like Armin, you told, you said that let these people talk, and now <laughs> United States is thanks like, a lot, full Armin. On, full on fascist now. But I don't know. So maybe, the, maybe the I'm mid, naive. The midterm elections that just happened in the U.S. did have some very positive signs that yes. the the far right ideologies are not winning as heavily as people were initially predicting. So yes. that that may be a, a good indicator that coming up in 2024, we're going to see a, a shift over further into the left back to the left i, I don't know it, it, we just unfortunately on some of it we we just kind of have to wait which is yes. probably the worst part because again kanye west can go on alex jones's show and then say all the mm. wacky things so. i mean it was amazing how even alex jones and what was that other guy on sensor tv I forgot right they're like, we're, we're like that's they, too far bro like yeah we, we're not like, even gonna go that far like yeah, that's they're like yeesh. frustrating. Yeah. yeah, that's frustrating. So, uh. okay, Bread of Life is asking, what about religious people like me who aren't Republican? Are we fascist too? Okay, first of all, I was very, very, very careful not to say Republic. So there's two assumptions here, Bread of Life, uh, that are very wrong. Okay, first of all, when did I say Republicans are fascists? I was like very went back multiple times to make sure I don't say that, okay? I said, I'm not saying this about Republicans, so I'm going to be careful. I'm talking about the movement in general. And I even said, you know, unknowingly, like like people are, could contribute to a movement that is fascistic in nature without them themselves being fascist themselves or wanting to be fascist themselves, right? So I'm not even saying about Republicans, let alone religious people, right? So... Pay attention. I was very careful about my the words I cho uh, cho uh, chose in the way I described that. So, um, so I don't believe that about religious people. Neither do I think that about most Republicans, right? Um, also, you know me. Do you really like I, brother? Like, do you really think I am somebody who thinks re religious people, religious people are the majority of the planet? Do you really think I'm somebody who would say that the majority of pl the planet is fascist? So I don't know. I'm I'm actually hurt too bad you asking that question. I, you managed to hurt my feeling. You broke my heart. I just I would just say, Rebecca, uh, Rebecca please uh, don't take it to heart. Armin just wants to be very spicy tonight, so he's just gonna he's just gonna start randomly picking out people and and yelling at them. Maybe. So I'm just kidding. no. Okay. I didn't yell. No, you didn't actually, and we haven't yet. So. We're going to have to, we'll find something. We'll find something that will make you yes. lose your cool. Who knows? Maybe secular rar rarity is the one who loses his mind today. Like, that's you actually, know, we can switch yeah. it up. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. point. I'll start yelling. Yeah. Give, give me a minute. I'll think of something that'll piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> a D with the $20, $20 super chat. Thank you so much. D, you're too generous. You're already a patron and you're also giving us super chats. That's very generous. Thank you. And she also volunteers for Atheist Republic. She's does a lot of work. Uh, she does a lot of journal. Thank you so much, D. D is saying, to be fair, the left have been leading the decade decades in the US. These far right moves are death rattles. What is what is it? What do you think that means? So like in general, the the course of you know the policies in the United States, as is the case for the vast majority of the world, right? The, the, the long arc of history is clearly bending towards more and more liberal policies and practices, right? There are obviously moments and times where that, that progress seems to be, you know, jerked back pretty hard. Um, but at the same time, like, 
Yeah, for sure. There was not that long ago in the United States, the laws that said black people and white people can't sit together. Um, so that's, yeah. you know, the fact that that is no longer the case means that some of the farthest of right of, of ideologies is definitely not winning. Um, and this is also something to uh, the, the, the death throws, kind of the death rattles, you know, in the sense that um, it also seems to be the case that some of these very uh, long term institution type stuff like that, like some of the really um, uh, older, you know, longer term uh, GOP members, their power is waning. Um, again, at the same time, it doesn't mean that everything's going to be great tomorrow when the sun rises. Uh, but for sure, over over the last 50 to, to 70 years, it's it's been clear the progress that that has been made. Um, it's just really frustrating when, you know, it still keeps having to drag its feet for, you know, these people. That... I mean, okay, so, but, but, uh, what is it called? Divine Republic? Am I mm -hmm. saying it right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. The, what, what, what happened before, oh, yeah. again, I'm going to. Uh, I know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people, we had the most progressive mm -hmm. government and, mm -hmm. in Europe right before Adolf came and took over. Yeah. So, I could just, like. That's what makes us worried. Like maybe, like yeah, maybe like this is just a small thing, a small bump in the road on yeah. on the total world liberal takeover, right? But sometimes these bumps end up being, uh, you know, stuff like the genocide of you know yeah. nine million people, right? Um, so I mean, yeah, I that agree. Was, that's why yeah. we that's why we have to be vigilant, and that's why we have to call these this stuff out with such intensity, right? Is because right. if we don't, then we're we're going back into that stuff again. So you know, right? Yeah, right. Agreed. Totally. Yeah. yeah. By by the way, guys, when you talk about the genocide part of World War Two, okay, use the nine million number, not the six million number, okay? Because it wasn't just the Jews, right? It was homosexuals, handicapped people, yep. uh, Romani's. Romani. What's that? Yep. Romani's mm -hmm. and political yep. people. Yeah, yeah. So nine million, yep. not six million. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Bread of life is saying, "Oh, sorry to hurt your feelings." First of all, <laughs> that was a joke. Second of all, I do not forgive you because I'm not a Christian and I don't have to. Right? It's true. It's so, true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And also, Bread of Life continues by saying, but Armin, you have changed in recent years. You, you used to speak much more strongly against religious people. I don't know what you're talking about. I have been more aggressively, I, I used to be more aggressive in tone against religion. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't think I have a history of generalizing against religious people. Okay, maybe I have been very aggressive against specific individuals, but I have been very careful from the beginning, unless I have, my memory fails me, maybe bring this to my attention. I've never had a blanket statement about religious people other than the fact that their specific religious beliefs are idiotic. Okay, but I also always clarified that, you know, non-religious people also have idiotic beliefs, but again, specifically for religious people you know i I'm, I'm i'm sure i have idiotic beliefs i don't know which one of my beliefs are idiotic uh, or else i wouldn't have them if i knew which ones they were but religious people i didn't make blanket statements about religious people other than what defines somebody as being religious you know as what fits with the definition of being religious so i don't know what you're talking about there's, there's somebody out there who this is like their second episode, you know, watching, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, Armin used to be more intense. Oh wow, yeah, but no, but against religion, <laughs> not religious people. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yes, no, I'm with you. Mm. Real life is being snarky today. Look at she's this. getting you. Honestly, she's been singing <laughs> you. Like, I mean, you know. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Armin still eats religion for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and sh shit on them. Okay, I don't, I don't, S H I T on what I eat, but okay. Um, that's, that's probably okay. a good policy. Like, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, throwing it out. Not a medical expert, but probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, Bread of Life acknowledges that it has been 
scary in the past mm -hmm. six years. Yeah. 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 Hopefully you guys can fix it. You know, you guys, I'm holding you personally responsible for their ads. It's okay? pretty fair. Honestly, it's pretty fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm on the phone with most of the high up officials in the United yeah. States daily. So, Good. you know, yeah. Good. Good. Do that. All right. <laughs> Seriously, the next decade could make or break everything. In the oh, I, I completely agree. There are a handful of things, I think, over the next 10 years in the United States that will really set the tone for the next, like, 100. So hopefully it's a good one, but... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.